In this tutorial, we'll solve the error uncaught reference error function is not defined at HTML button element dot on click. All right, so I have a simple example here. So let's say you have a button and then you have set the on click attribute and then you want to run a function, right? So you get that uncaught reference error function is not defined at HTML button element dot on click. So we're going to go through a couple of possible solutions. So make sure if you're if you have it in a um, in a script tag like this, that it's actually sitting inside the body. If you're linking to an external script, then make sure you're linking to it properly, right? So you have script and it's a source and then um, the path to that script file. So if it's in the same folder, you can just write, well, the script name. If it's sitting in some different folder, make sure you get the path correct, right? So if, it, if you need to move upwards, you use dot dot forward slash. If it's sitting in some folder, you use the folder name if the folder is on the same level as the HTML file here. All right, so make sure you have that. Now, sometimes you may not have it in a body, but you actually have it in the head. We can do that these days. It's actually a best practice. All right, so here you can link to it here in the head. Um, now, generally speaking, when you do that, you do have to use the defer attribute so that it doesn't block parsing the rest of the page. All right, so it's actually really important that you have mastered uh, JavaScript if you want to work as a web developer. I have a course on that. Definitely check it out. The link is in the description. But um, this would be an example of correctly linking to an external script file from the head section. Okay, so if, if it still doesn't work, make sure that you have this um, move up uh, function. Let me go back to... Um, the initial uh, example, make sure that this move up function is available in the global scope, right? So it shouldn't be something like this, right? So if you, if you do something like this, it's not going to be available because it's going to be scoped to, um, right? So it's not going to be available outside of there. Same with something like um, at event listener, like DOM content loaded. This is what some of you may have done, right? And then, Right, so this is not going to be available now. If you're using something like jQuery, um, you may have something like, I believe it's like document ready or something, right? That also won't work. All right, so make sure it's available in the global scope. All right, now if it still doesn't work, instead of using the on click attribute, it's probably better to just, uh, you know, do it the proper way, you could say, right? We can select the element. Let's say it has a class of BTN. Uh, we can we can create a variable for that. We can say BTNL is document query selector. Right, I like to append L to the variable name because um, it, it indicates that we have selected an HTML element in there. And then we could say button add event listener on the click event. We want to fire the move up function. Now it's without pr uh, open and closing parentheses, by the way. Right, So it's just a reference to the function. Right, So this is, I guess you could say, the cleaner or more proper way to do it but um, that should solve the issue as well. If it still doesn't work, try clearing your browser cache. Maybe there's something going on there where the browser has cached a previous version of your files. And if it still doesn't work, just check your console, right? So right click console in the browser. And if you see any other errors, try fixing the other errors first, because one of those other errors may actually interfere in some way with your setup. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.